Aloha gamers, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a sneak peek of Gods of Olympus new update that is about to come out. I am breaking it up into a two part series, but really quick let me tell you what is all included in this update. First of all, we have new Olympian challenge, we have new alliance assist powers, we have new skins, and there are some balances and changes. Today we are going to be focusing on the Olympian challenge new skins, balances, and changes. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so this is straight from the devs, Olympian challenge. The Olympian challenge is a set of daily challenge maps that present highly unique procedurally generated cities. This means that no two maps will ever be the same. Each day's maps will be themed around a different god with buildings and units to represent their individual strengths. Challenge maps include new terrain and mechanics that are not possible in regular cities such as multiple monuments and temples of the same type. It goes on to say, challenges are free to play. You will be rewarded with gold, stone, and gems for each successful attack. If you can't beat a challenge on the first try, you can retry an unlimited number of times within the 24 hour period before the next day's maps are generated. So there you have it. That is from the devs on what the Olympian challenge is and what they're expecting and what they're hoping to get from it. Okay, let's have a look at the Olympian challenge. As you can tell, we get given a temple and your goal is to destroy the temple, like any base that's given to you. The difference between this is once you've destroyed the temple and you get your gold, your gems, and your stone, you get given another base and it's a little harder. As you conquer each base, you'll notice that it's gonna start getting harder and harder and harder. But don't worry, as it gets harder, if you fail, you can keep retrying until you succeed. I'm not really sure how many challenges it offers up daily, but I'm pretty sure with some of our high level players, they'll find out soon enough. I do love this feature, and I think you guys are gonna absolutely love this feature. It's something different, so yay! Brownie points to the Gods of Olympus dev team. Okay, next up on our update, we have new skins. All right, presenting us with our first skin, we have Ares the Barbarian. Next we have Succubus Aphrodite. We have Valkyrie Athena. Thunder God Zeus. Paintball Apollo. Wood Elf Artemis and Grim Reaper Hades. Okay, last but not least, let's go through the balance changes. First of all, we have Zeus. His health is increased, chain lightning, attack strength mildly increased. Lightning storm range now scales up slightly with level. Slow time duration mildly increased across the board with the latest changes at higher level. Apollo, his health is increased. Hades houses, resurrection effect greatly increased per house. Resurrection may now overflow. An entity with 100% resurrection chance may resurrect again. Unit skeleton... skeleton. Let's just say that they'll all pop out of the ground at the same time in a really large number. I have seen it happen. Temple and monument levels increase maximum monument upgrades to level 40, previously at 30. Increase maximum temple health to level 40 previously 30 maximum temple bonus remains at level 30. okay let's wrap this up tomorrow we're going to be talking about new alliance assist powers so please tune in and as usual leave me a comment sub me like me all that jazz and i will catch you guys in the next video peace out